Hello everyone and welcome to Soul Stained Ink. My name is Beth and I am here with a very exciting announcement. So I know that this is just the beginning of February. In fact, while I am filming this the weekend before, you are seeing this hopefully on February 9th. That's the day I'm posting it. And that's my birthday. Uh, but we're not talking about my birthday or about the month of February. Right now we are talking about March. Specifically, I am here to announce March Mystery Madness. Uh, if you haven't heard that term before, if you're new around here, March Mystery Madness is a whole month where we read mystery books. And this being the ninth year of March Mystery Madness, our theme is To the Nines. That's the gorgeousness of my apparel. Um, although I do look gorgeous on a daily, I don't, I normally wear the sweatpants and pajamas at home. Anyway, like I said, it is year nine. Our theme is To the Nines, and we have nine prompts. Now, these are not prompts you have to stick to. You can do whatever you want, read whatever you want, as always. However, we do have nine prompt suggestions, and I believe that we will at some point have a bingo board if you want to uh, use that. I Literally, as soon as I finished filming this and hopped over to edit, Storm sent us a note that said, hey, here's the prompt board. So I am just inserting it here instead of trying to refilm anything. Uh, but here it is. It is lovely. She's done an amazing job, as always. So glad she's my friend. I would hate to think what would happen if she set her amazing mind against me. Sounds like a good mystery book, actually. I digress. Here's the prompt board. Um, all of my co-hosts will be listed and linked in the uh, information box down below and I highly suggest that you go check out their videos as well. I know we're a really fun group and I can't wait to see what they've come up to for Dressed to the Nines. Now, our very first prompt is what led us to do this and that is in fact dressed to the nines uh somebody wearing formal attire on the cover uh those are actually not too difficult to find in older mysteries uh prompt number two nine 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 read a british mystery prompt number three nine lives a cat on the cover i think i'm going to revisit the um the Cat Who Mysteries. I haven't read one in a while. and We were talking about them in class the other day. Prompt number four, 911. So a mystery involving a first responder, firefighter, EMT, policeman, etc. Uh, prompt number five. Uh, that one is honoring Janelle. So read something you think would honor Janelle. If you don't know who Janelle was, she was a dear friend and a co-host of March Mystery Madness. She posted all sorts of amazing videos, suggesting mostly classic mysteries. And I'm going to read a classic mystery that's on my list of Janelle recommendations. She passed away, unfortunately, a few months ago, and we are all still reeling from her loss, dedicating March Mystery Madness and this prompt to her. Number six. A nine patch. Now that is a type of quilt. So read a mystery that has a quilt on the cover. And then we have, um, I cannot read my own handwriting. The ninth in a series. Oh, I skipped one. So number nine in a series. And then the one I skipped was a nine on the cover. And then the ninth suggested prompt is any nine tie-in. So that is a nine in the number of chapters, nine, 19, 29, 39 chapters. The page numbers end in a nine. Um, 
the year it was published has a nine in it. Any of those things work. And those are our nine suggested prompts for our dress to the nines announcement video for our ninth year in which we are celebrating all things nine. I hope that you join us in March Mystery Madness. I know I am super excited to read all of the mysteries and get stuck into all of the fun things that my cohorts and I will be doing. I've got to come up with something fun to do actually because they always do fun things and I'm just over here like I read a book. I read another book. I probably ought to do something. If you have any suggestions for what you would like to see me read or do during March Mystery Madness, leave them in the comment section down below. Um, if you have any ideas to go with these prompts, do that as well. Suggestions of something Janelle might have loved would also be much appreciated. Let me know if you're going to join us, and I will talk to you again soon. Until then, stay safe out there. Bye.